All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm here to talk about some new tools. I went to Ultra. I had some tools modified. You're probably already aware of the Gorilla Grip, or excuse me, Gorilla Grip Handle uh, from John Hiley. Now, this one looks a little different because I, I had, what I did is I had an extension made from Ultra, which is their standard one, and it doesn't usually have a hole in the back, but I had them uh, tap that out and thread it so I can put a rubber ball on the back of it. And when I need some very short, close counter twist, I can do that. But what's really cool about this too as well, um, and also I shortened the thread so it'll fit more flush inside of that right there, like you see. So let me undo this. And then also what I end up purchasing is they have a carbon fiber handle. So if I want it to be light now, most of the, is this something that you guys need? No, this is options that you can actually do for your handle. I'm just showing the capabilities. John's standard gorilla grip um, lengths of his handles are awesome, which I'm going to get to in a second. I'm just showing you some add ons from his tool and I'll show you how it works. You've got the quick release. The, the machine on this is excellent. It's, it's done very, very well. Um, so I added that carbon fiber handle on the back, which he just started coming out with. And now it's super light right here, heavy where you need it to be, but easy on the hands. Not saying, not saying that uh, John's Tip, standard hand, uh, handles are, aren't any good. They're really good. So there you go. It's got some weight, which I think works well too. Put your rubber ball on the end and you're good. Or if you really want some length to it, put that on just like that. And now you've got a serious long, it's almost like a weapon now. And then put a ball on the air and you're pretty much good to go now why would why do you want this system well as you guys know the tequila line or the a1 some of their tools are ratchets pretty cool right one of the one of the easiest ratchets to, to do so because you just push down and you do that but it is generally small in most people's hands and the angle is a little bit different and from some people just doesn't work so especially john john has big hands most guys have pretty decent sized hands i'm assuming um but you don't what happens if you you just you want a better handle right either you cut it off or do something like like what i did i cut the tequila off and i put an octagon on it right i'll get to that in a second but you can just take this off and let's say you took it off and now you're left with this. So now John created this, put that on and look at this. Boom. Quick, easy peasy. Just like that. Look how many different points you can change. And this honestly probably has the less play out of any system I've, I've used. And that's very close does have some play don't get me wrong it's, it's gonna have some play guys i mean any ratchet system i have never seen an ultimate tight ratchet system not yet at least i haven't nice button right here what's really cool is it really functions well it's smooth there's nothing getting caught in it works legit now what happens if you're invested in a lot of ultra and but you like the system you don't want to have different things this is optional this might be a little kind of crazy, but this is what I do. So same tequila, cut it off. I put an octagon on it. Now I had a couple different adapters made. One tall one, which you can see right here. One short one. Boom. Home. Now I got. Now I have best of both worlds. I can use this tool with any system I want. 
any any handle system shall i say that i want because i've cut a lot of them off cut a lot of them off oh well maybe i for some reason i don't want that handle maybe i want this system with <laughs> the a1 quicksilver handle works good why because i end up doing is cutting off the killer whale excuse me this the lucky seven putting it on there and now now i've got an adjustable whale tail in this type of system right there if i want it in line i can do it in line boom i got it okay really easy peasy now i don't know if a1 is going to consider doing that kind of system putting that on there and then having that system that handle system i don't know i'm yet to see but handles are awesome i was talking about handles why not if you can't get them to make handles make handles that will work for you and this happens to be a really comfortable handle so that's how i'm using it so let's talk about some other new tools that i was there i was at ultra dentals and i picked up some new stuff or a couple small knickknacks and he um he did give this to me so i'm going to show you is a new VIP. Well, no, hold on. I'm going to say that. it's not new VIP. VIP did not make this. Sorry. It is a like VIP tap down. I didn't mean to say VIP. Sorry. I don't want to offend anybody. And guys, don't kill the messenger. I just review tools, tools that I think are going to be cool and work. And then if you don't want to use this tip like that, you can put a cover over it. And then maybe you're working on soft paint you know, a repaint, you don't want to mark the paint. This is something to, to go off of pretty dang interesting. Okay. I will do a full review and just for uh, purposes, like knowledge purposes is that uh, I did not pay for this tip. This was given to me and I am not paid to talk about this as well. This is just what I do. This is part of my job. This is my passion. I report about new tools, something that I think will be pretty interesting. Um, before, before I do a review on this, I'm going to do a full review of the th of the 3.0 of the uh, VIP 3.0. So, um, so hold on for that. So this is something that I picked up when I was at Ultra modifying my tools. Here's another tip. Check this out. So this is a tip you came out with that you can use for your fender lip tool. So. Kind of like a whale tail bent kind of fat right there still shaved not too radically sharp this is something new that he just came out with and then you you put in the position the angle that you want and turn it now this isn't nothing new pdr finesse has had something like this a long time ago was straight up so that was very interesting but uh, ultra decided to put a bend on it so i think it's really interesting i think it's a a tool that's maybe uh, considering investing in. I th don't know how much it's going to be. I think maybe thirty dollars. I think it was, it's about that, but it's pretty cool, and I think it's promising. And we'll see. We'll see how it works. So that's it. That's my tool report on on these dents. I mean, excuse me, these tools. I'll put the links down below uh, where you can get these tools, and. Uh, Hope you get a lot out of it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about any of these tools that I mentioned. Uh, what's cool, what you did like, what you didn't like. Again, don't kill the messenger. I'm just reporting. I'm just telling you what's going on and what I like to do about my tools. I just think tools are awesome. They make you quicker, faster, cleaner, and better for sure. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.